In this video, I'm going to compare Monday.com versus Jira. So what I'm going to do is simply show you the different features, different pricing plans, and then show you the inside of both platforms so that you can see how they operate and which would be the best option for you. Let's get into that right away. So I've opened up the pricing plans on Monday and then also on Jira. Now, if we start off with Monday, there's a huge feature that is missing here and that's the free forever plan. You can see that you can get a free trial without a credit card. However, if I scroll down to this question right there, you'll see that if you would like to access Monday beyond the 14 day free trial, you can do so through purchasing a plan, meaning that there's no free plan available. However, if we go to Jira, you'll see that there is indeed a free plan always free for 10 users, which is great. Now, let me check out the features right away. So this is up to 10 users. There is a site limit of one, but that's also with the um, standard and premium version. So that's not a huge downside. Let me go, yep. They've got Scrum and Kanban boards, which is also available on these pay plans. So you can see that backlog, age old reporting, customizable workflows, apps and integrations, all of those are indeed available. Advanced roadmaps are not available on the free plan, but that's also not available on the first pay plan. Um, and then if you scroll down, you'll simply see that all of these features are not available on the free plan. However, for a free plan, this does still come with a ton of decent features. So that's a huge difference already. So if you're not willing to pay, definitely go with Jira because Monday.com doesn't have a free plan available. However, let's take a look at the pay plans for both of these platforms. So for Monday, you'll see that they've got a $8 seat a month plan, which is the basic one that comes with unlimited boards, 200 plus templates, 20 column types, unlimited free viewers, iOS and Android apps, and you can create a dashboard based on one board. That's not bad. However, the other plans are way better and I'll explain why. So on here, this will cost you a bit more, 10, seed, uh, 10 euros per seat per month, but they do have automations. Now automations will uh, allow you to automate repetitive work by setting customizable actions in your board. Now that's honestly a game changer because you know that if you're running a business or you're doing project management, you wanna make sure to automate things and build systems so that you don't have to spend time doing it or managing it. So if you can automate that, that's great because then it will flow automatically, which is exactly what you're trying to do for good project management. Now, if we compare that to the next plan, the pro plan, which will cost you 16 euros per month per seat, you'll see that this has 25,000 actions per month with the automations and this only 250. So if you're working with a very small, a very small team, this could work the 250 actions per month. However, if you're working with a decent sized team, definitely go with this one because this is not going to be enough. 25K should be enough. But yeah, that's pretty much my favorite feature on Monday.com. I'll also show you how it works in a bit. If we then compare that to standard and premium pricing on Jira, you'll see that if I scroll down, they do have customizable workflows they do have automations. You can see that the automations are already included in the free plan on Jira, which is kind of interesting because Monday is charging for it. And then even for the first pay plan or the second pay plan, my bad, they only have 250 actions per month. You kind of have to go with the first, uh, first most expensive plan and that would cost 16 euros per month. That will get you the automations up to 25k however right there it's already available it's actually available in all the plans so you can automate any task or process with just a few clicks so you can see that jira is definitely doing a great job at that bringing in the automation for your project management or for your business in general now however if i scroll down even further you'll see that the premium plan does kind of come with all of like all of the features that are available apart from date uh, residency. So for that, you would have to go with the enterprise plan, which I don't recommend only if you're, if you're operating in a huge business. If that's the case, then you're probably not even gonna go with Jira in the first place, but that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, 
the differences are there. Um, so honestly, Jira for the free plan is great. It comes with automation, it's free, up to 10 users, comes with a decent amount of features. Compared to Asana, they don't even, I mean, compared to Monday, my bad, they don't even have a free plan. Now, with all of this being said though, let's sign in and let's show you the inside of both platforms. So here we are on monday.com and then here we are on Jira. You can see that on both platforms, the menu is on the left hand side. So you'll be managing and working on like operating on Monday on the left hand side and then Jira as well. So right there we are on a board. So this is a specific board for a specific project. On Monday, it's the same thing. So I'm on the how to digital board and this is my specific board. And this is the same for Jira. So what you can do is simply add a new issue or a new task that needs to be done. So what you can do is edit this video. You can add that as a specific task and you can do the same on Monday. If you click add, edit this video and that would then show up. Now what you can do on Monday is simply add a person to that. So you can click right there, you can add your team members, you can invite them by email, and you can then add them to the cart so that they know that they need to be editing that specific video or just do a task in general, whatever that task may be. What they can then do is add a status. Now let's say that they're not done, but they're working on it. You can click working on it, and you'll then know that they're doing it, but they're not totally finished yet. You can add a due date. Let's say that this video needs to be done before the 30th of January. You would add it right there, January 30th, and it would then um, just show up. They'll know that they need to finish it before that specific date. You can add even more by simply scrolling for the right, clicking plus, and you can add dates, numbers, timelines, uh, timelines, my bad, tags, creating logs, all of this stuff, which is really cool. Now, if we compare that to Jira, you'll see that it looks very different. So you can add a to-do list right there. You can pretty much slide it over to in progress and then to done. So it does work effectively. It's convenient, it's easy. You can kind of get an understanding of what's going on right away. If a lot of stuff isn't done, you'll know that you're getting um, stuff done. If it's not, then you know that you need to still do it. However, oops, let me go over here. The layouts on Monday are just way better in my opinion. However, if we go to the project management on here, you can see that they do have guides and that kind of explain exactly how you can set this up. Now, that's something that I like because if you're new to project management, it could kind of be overwhelming. You're not sure how to set it up, how to do a specific thing, how to optimize. So they're definitely doing a great job at that so that you guys know, even if you're a beginner in project management, how to get going and how to set up a workflow that has just only three steps and it's easy to do. So they'll be showing you exactly how that works. And once again, if you take a look at this, this is similar to Trello in case you've used that before. Um, so you've got to do in progress, you can then add people to it. Um, they'll know when to do it. So that's pretty cool. You can see that I've added myself on this list. You can see my logo in the bottom right corner. However, guys, you can kind of see the differences. In my opinion, Monday.com, the paid plans, of course, because they don't have any free plans, look way more professional, way easier to work with. It's just a better overview in general. You can automate stuff, which you can also do on Jira, of course. However, Jira is way more basic. But keep in mind that this is also free. It's a free plan up to 10 people. So yeah, in my opinion, if you're gonna go with the free plan, you need to go with Jira because Monday.com doesn't even have one. If you're gonna pay, I would go with Monday.com every single day of the week. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Hopefully this video gave you the right info. If it did, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know as well in the comments down below. I would also appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video trying to bring you guys value by making these videos. Um, so yeah, I hope you can do that and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.